Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more of my Tinker's Construct Mod Spotlight specifically for Minecraft 1.18. So I'm using the All the Mod 7 mod pack for this and uh, what we're going to be working on today is how to add more modifiers to our Tinker's tools. So this will be the, the best way to show you guys how to get more modifiers. Um, the first thing that we'll go over is going to be Book and Quill. This is a one-time use uh, upgrade for each tool. So as you can see, we have two upgrades, one ability left. If we add a Book and Quill, we can add Writable to it, and it adds an upgrade slot to it. So we can do this for each of our tools that we've made so far, the pickaxe, the cleaver, the mattock can have an extra slot, the axe, the hammer, and the excavator. So that adds an extra upgrade slot to each of our uh, tools, and it can only be used once. Uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys, uh, other than the book and quill, it, this one's kind of a bonus. The Enchanted Golden Apple. It uh, does not require any upgrade slots, but what it does is it makes your tool glow. <laughs> so if you make an Enchanted Golden Apple, which is a fairly simple recipe, uh, you can make your tool glow. So now, now we have a glowing cleaver. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Okay, so for this next upgrade, which in my opinion, is the most important upgrade. Uh, it's a decision you have to make whether you want your tool to have Silk Touch or your tool to have Fortune on it. So before I show you guys the recipes for uh, uh, Fortune and Luck and Silk Touch, if you have the bookmark for the Tinker's Anvil and you hit U on that, this is how uh, I go through all of the modifiers that are available. There's a lot of different modifiers that you can put on your weapons uh, or, or your tools, uh, but the ones that I tend to, uh, to stick with, of course, are Silk Touch and Fortune. Uh, but this is the way you can look through all of the uh, modifiers that are available. And it shows you in the bottom corner if it requires an ability slot, which tools only have one ability slot, or requires an upgrade slot, which I just showed you with the book and quill, you can add another one to it. Uh, there's going to be other uh, abilities or modifiers that you can attach to your weapons and tools that don't require uh, a modifier slot at all, like dyeing them a different color and stuff. But the one that I'm really excited about making is going to be Silk Touch. Uh, for that, we need these silky cloths, and for that we need rose gold. It is an alloy, so we do have to alloy it in the Tinker Smeltery with gold and copper. So it's three to one gold to copper. So let's go ahead and grab some of the gold dust. Let's just go ahead and do 16. And let's go ahead and grab... Did I? No, there we go. We'll grab the 44 that I have here. The 16 and 44. I know that's not exactly uh, the amount required, but it will alloy into rose gold for us. So there we go. We got rose gold. Let's go ahead and cast out one of the blocks uh, so that we can break it back down into the, uh, the ingots that we need to craft with today. And let's go one more. Block of rose gold. Break this guy down. We have string on us. So let's go ahead. We can do five of them. We'll make us a silky cloth. There we go. And uh, what I tend to do is I tend to put fortune on my pickaxe since it's a precision tool. And I put... Uh, silk touch on my hammer since that's my broad mining tool so that's what I'm gonna do I'll put silk touch uh, on the hammer which as you can see upgrades one abilities one upgrades one so it does use the ability slot so now we have a hammer that has silk touch so we will we'll be able to uh, silk touch any of our ores and uh, gemstones that we pick up 
and then we can always choose to fortune them later if we wanted to. So this lets me just uh, mine in a straight line with the hammer. Plus it looks kind of silly. Now it looks, it's got pink on it. <laughs> the other modifier that I'm super excited about, of course, is fortune. And fortune, uh, it's the same thing as luck or looting. And uh, it's a bit expensive if you think about it because the uh, luck one and looting one is uh, requires a cornflower which if you're in that biome, that's no problem, but you have to go pretty far out if you're not in the biome that has cold uh, cornflowers in it. Also, the second upgrade to fortune and looting requires ender pearls, as well as golden carrots, and the third upgrade requires name tags and diamonds. So let's see, if we hover over cornflower and hit U, and we go backwards through JEI, we can see the looting and the luck upgrades. Uh, it's the same thing for tools and for weapons. So I'll go ahead and I'll put that on the uh, cleaver for us since we have the ability slot available there. We need one corn flower, two copper, and two blocks of lapis will give us luck. And there you go, the upgrade slot is gone. The upgrade for uh, looting 2 and for luck 2 is uh, a golden carrot, two gold ingots, and two ender pearls. And right here, as you can see, max 2. Uh, no modifier slots are required, but it does require a different recipe for the first level. So you have to do them in, uh, in the correct order. So we'll do that. There we go. We have luckier and then the last one requires a rabbit foot which i had to go 3000 blocks for you guys to find rabbits in a desert so that i could uh, uh show this recipe uh but here we go looting three requires a rabbit's foot requires two rose gold which we just made a name tag and a diamond and the name tag i found in uh a chest while searching the nether fortress so there we go. We'll put rabbit's foot, rose gold, name tag, and a diamond. And there we go, luckiest. So now our iron cleaver has, uh, let's see, upgrades one. We still have one upgrade available. I was going to say we have max uh, sharpness on it, but we don't since we just added writable on it. So here we go. Now we have max. So we got our attack damage up to 13.75, and it does have looting three, so luckiest on it now. So now, hopefully, when we go uh, hunting for Endermen in the middle of the night, we're going to get some some good amount of Ender Pearls going on. And uh, a little fun fact, a little fun tidbit that I'm going to add to the end of this episode is uh, now that we can alloy with the smeltery, we can make the piggy backpack. So that requires pig iron ingots. It's also an alloy that we have to make in the smeltery. It requires clay, blood, and iron. So let's see real quick. We have iron already in here. Three ingots might be enough. For blood, what we can do is we can do rotten flesh, but we can also do zombie heads. We can do these zombie heads. And then we also need clay. So let's go ahead and grab some clay. 15 might be enough. So let's smelt these guys up and see. It should be able to uh, alloy together into at least one ingot. And let's see, what is this? This is our ingot gold cast, so I'm ready. And there we go. We have four molten pig iron. And like I talked about in a previous episode, you have to click on the one that you want to cast out. The uh, fluid that's on the bottom is the one that's going to cast out first. So we have Molten Pig Iron. Let's go ahead and tag this guy. And we can just let all of the ingots that we've gathered up inside the smeltery cast out for us. We just need one of these Pig Iron ingots and we need a saddle. The saddle I got from a Nether Fortress as well. So by doing this, we can make the Piggy Backpack. And uh, I absolutely love the piggy backpack. So let's see if I can 
Let's see if we can pick up a puppers with it. I don't think so. Maybe if it wasn't tamed. That would have been hilarious though, carrying around your 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 little dog in a backpack. But let's see. Let me find something for us real quick that uh that'll be fun to carry around. How's this? I picked up an elephant. <laughs> It's a tight fit in here. I brought him home just for the fun of it. I know that the purpose of the piggy backpack is to bring home uh, cows and chickens and sheep and uh, make farms with them, but I decided to be a little bit sillier and bring home an elephant. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.